Hi everybody and welcome back to Capricorn Van Life. I am here. I'm filming a couple of videos back to back. So of course I'm going to have on the same clothes. But I am here to show you guys how to pack your travel bag for van life. And this is my winter edition. So the clothes that I'm going to be packing in my bag is going to be winter clothes. So I will do a winter edition and let me know if you want me to do a summer edition. So uh, here is my big oversized duffel. <laughs> uh, my big oversized duffel. Uh, leather travel bag so right now I just got through filming a video of uh, personal hygiene necessities for van life that you want to make sure you have with you at all times so it's perfect for me since I have them on the table to actually pack up my uh, bag for my winter edition so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to uh, these pockets on the side of my bags I like to use for all my personal hygiene items so that way I will have quick access to them when I go into a bathroom or shower at a truck stop or where have you where I can take a shower so I'm just going to take my personal hygiene items and I'm going to fit as many of them as I can inside of this bag and you can take them out of their boxes and containers if you like and I just want to show you if you ever run across a big bag like this you guys get it this is a leather bag I got this from a flea market and it is such a lifesaver so I can fit so much to the side over here and just have everything when I go in to take a shower I like have everything right there and so far look I fit all this stuff that was on this table I think this bottle is a little too big for this pouch maybe not we'll see but if it is no it's not so you can fit that up in there and you guys another little tip but I don't know if this is going to fit in here but another little tip is I use uh, apple cider vinegar for a lot of things and I saved my coke bottle and I saved the little top off of dishwashing liquid and it fits straight on top of the coke bottle where I can just pour it in there and use the apple cider vinegar for whatever I want. Now if this fits inside of this pouch that is going to be amazing. I don't know with it. Oh yes. But I think it will fit better on the other side because it will have less stuff on there. I have two pockets on each side. So I have my um, this is black castor oil. I have my black castor oil. And so this is going to be like all my personal hygiene items for in bottles. So now I'm going to take the other side of the bag and my other personal hygiene items such as socks and underwear. Uh, in my other video I suggested to you guys to make sure especially as a female to make sure you have enough underwear with you where you can change underwear every single day and you're not running out of underwear so I'm going to put that right there in that bag and I like to roll everything up like this so you can even after I've worn them and these are some extra pairs that golly these things are too big oh these are going to be definitely too big for me <laughs> I'm not that I'm not that huge oh no what size was this let's see you guys I probably got the wrong size oh this is a size 8 extra large yeah these are too big for me I don't plan on getting that big but 
we're rolling with this in this video you never know somebody might also be at a truck stop or campground and they might have ran out of French underwear I don't know I don't think they should but this is more my speed and more my size style size size 7 so you're gonna put that up in there and you're gonna take your bras and stick them up in here as well you can fit a lot of stuff over here and you're gonna take your socks and fit them in there and then the next thing I like to put on this side are my face towels so I roll my face towels up and you can buy a pack of these from uh, Walmart and I can actually fit more stuff in here uh, I'm going to take my face wipes and put them over there I'm going to take my q-tips let some of this air out this bag I'm going to take my q-tips and put them in here and last but not least I want to make sure I have some personal sanitary napkins with me when I go inside of a shower because you're probably going to need them and then as I showed you guys before I can fit this bottle over on this side so everything well yeah it fits but it's a little tight so you can get a little shorter bottle and screw that on top uh, they have the little shorter bottles of, of Coke product if you want to reuse those. And I put this in here. And you guys, another thing, make sure you always have in your bag a roll of toilet paper. Toilet paper, because sometimes you go in these public bathrooms to take a shower or whatever. And sometimes you get in there and they don't have toilet paper. So I always make sure I have my own roll of toilet paper with me. So you want to make sure you leave room in your bag for that. So, I am going to pause this video, get my stuff together, my winter, winter items together to put in my bag and show you guys how to pack uh, your winter bag and items that you might want to consider using and putting in your winter bag. So, I'll be right back. So, you guys, don't ask me why I changed clothes. <laughs> um... I was thinking I was getting ready to do another video and I forgot I hadn't finished this one so this is my bag that I'm going to be putting my winter clothes in I actually need to lower this table so I can set this bag y'all I'll be right back so I lowered the table so I can put the bag on the table and you guys can actually physically see me pack this bag up so this is going to be my winter clothing bag so the first I had to change my battery you guys so this is the bag and this I'm uh, prepping this bag for my winter clothes so the first thing I want to do is oh and my jeans start your jeans from the legs I was just rolling them up wrong start them from the legs and I like to roll everything up so that way if you start from the legs you'll be able to see the pocket of the jeans and which pair of jeans it is because you know some jeans you get a better fit with and that will just fit in there sideways and here is another pair of jeans so I think I have like three or four pair of jeans I'm like a jean person I could wear a different pair of jeans every day and you would probably think I'm wearing the same jeans because 
I wear jeans a lot. So, so far I'm putting three pair of jeans in here and I think across the bottom I could fit like probably two more pair after this one or one more pair. But we're going to go what I have with what I have here to make sure I am able but I think you can get like a week's well okay that's three pair of jeans I think you can get like a week's one I could fit one more pair of jeans in here though I think you can get a week's worth of clothes or more in this bag and uh, another tip that I have for packing your winter bag is make sure you pack something colorful and long sleeve because it's going to get a little dim you know you might feel a little dim and dreary in your van but if you have something with a pop of color that cheers you up that as soon as you look at it it makes you smile like yeah so i suggest that you put one or two items in the, in your bag that are like fun items that would just make you laugh or make somebody else laugh so the bottom pants I have going this way now the shirts I'm gonna make come that way so that's my fun item and then the next item is a hoodie and this is a pullover hoodie you might want a pullover hoodie that way if you're gonna be out in the uh, elements you don't have to worry about the wind coming through your jacket so you can wear a hoodie at the bottom and some things are better folded and some things are better rolled like it, for instance the hoodie I think would be better to fold because it just gets too thick so we're just gonna fold that one and put that one on this end and I don't think this bag is as big as my other one even though they look the same but I, I don't think this one is as big and so I have a lot of, let me get a thumbnail y'all. I have a lot of camouflage shirts. I love camouflage. So we're going to put these in here and we're going to see if I can get everything that I have over here in here and it's kind of looking a little shady <laughs> like I might not be able to get everything in here um yeah this bag to me is definitely smaller and then again the things the items that I'm putting in here are actually much bigger because my other bag is more like a summer bag little shirts with shorts so I think that's going to be the last camouflage shirt that I could fit in there I actually had more shirts down here my other recommendation but I don't think we're going to get that in here is to have a zipped hoodie as well so what I'm going to do uh, you also need to make sure that you always have enough fresh clean socks to make sure that you keep your feet dry at all times especially in the inside of your boots or shoes or snowshoes or snowboarding whatever you're doing you want to make sure that you keep your feet nice and dry at all times so having extra pairs of socks is definitely a must so we're gonna make sure we took those away in here as well and I think that's going to be all that we can get in here at the moment and the last thing is our hoodie our zip the putty so what we can do is so we can have quick access to this if we can't fit it in there is 
put this over the hand or handle like that and you can also carry it like that and we can put our strap strap on and this bag also I'm going to take this off this bags have pockets in the front where you can put stuff that you may need to have easy access to like your passport or just something I'm not sure what you would need to put there and then on this side there is a zipped yeah you might want to put your passports and stuff down here there is a zip side where you can put stuff where you can have easy access to and when you buy a big duffel bag like this that has different compartments like this will make your van life and your traveling life so much easy because you will know where everything is opposed to opening the bag and having to dig and look for everything the bulk of my clothing items would be in the big body part of the bag and then like my taller trees are on one side and my uh, underwear on another side and like I said your paperwork or anything that you need, would need to get to at a border or wherever you could have right here keep your receipts in there or just whatever you want to keep in there so that is going to be my let's see <laughs> my uh, winter bag packing uh, for van life and just for travel in general so yeah that's how to pack your winter bags you want to make sure you have everything that you're going to need in there all compartmentalized and easy to reach so thank you guys so much for watching don't forget to give this video a thumbs up don't forget to leave your comments in the comment bar below don't forget to press the subscribe button turn on the notification bell and come back for another video leave in the comments any suggestions on future videos that you would like for me to make to prepare for van life so i will talk to you guys later thanks for watching bye now